Hello! In this video, I will discuss basic information about how to move your finger on the saxophone. So this video is really for beginners. And if you are a person, a young boy or young girl, considering to play the saxophone or maybe you just received the saxophone and you don't know what to do with it, so you can watch this video and I will show you some basic information so you, you'll be able to start moving your finger on the saxophone and play it little by little. You know? When I first received the saxophone, I was about 10 year, 11 year old, maybe your age. And uh, it was really confusing for me because I noticed that there are so many buttons. There are many more buttons than I have fingers. And, and I was questioning if it was an instrument for humans or for some kind of an alien species with two or three hands and maybe 45 fingers. But no, it's for humans. So it's for uh, men and women. And if you have uh, fingers and if you have hands, you can do it. You can play this. Actually, you don't even need all the fingers. And I'll show you. On the, uh, your uh, right hand, the thumb, goes to support it, to support the instrument together with the strap. And so you just use the four fingers to play the notes. And the, the keys are very conveniently uh, marked in white. So the first three here, and then the first finger, the pinky finger, goes to cover these two keys. One is for uh, the E flat, which we, you don't have to use at the beginning. One is for the C. So the C Yes, you gotta need to use that. So C, E, sorry, C, D, E, F. And then on the other, the other hand, also, you don't need all the fingers. The thumb goes on the octave keys, whenever you want to play the octave higher. Then the index finger goes on the second button. You see that one at the top here, and one here, so you go, you skip this one, you just go directly on the second one. And the middle finger, don't press the small button here, then leave it there for a while. Just go to the third one, and then here is the ring finger. The pinky is free. He will, the pinker has to get, take care of these keys right here. But initially, for the key of a C, you just need a seven fingers on the top and I will show you this on a recorder I I didn't have a saxophone at the beginning when I was interested in the saxophone I didn't have it right away it was not available to me in school where I was going in elementary school uh, they didn't offer any instrument even in, a, in junior high we didn't have any instruments I was not as lucky as many people, especially here in the, state, in the United States. So I had to make do with this. It's a recorder. And fortunately, the recorder has the similar, very similar fingering. Now, look at this. You have the four fingers to, go to cover the four button holes. And then three on the top holes, three. And then the, the thumb cover the octave hole. So, Basically, it's the same arrangement. So, if you don't have a saxophone, this is a good place to start. Even if you have a saxophone, the, the recorder is much easier to carry around and you can practice all over without having the weight of a big tenor or an alto to carry around. You can do the same notes. The C scale. It's a very good, uh, easy scale to begin with. You practice it on your recorder and you can also do some variation of the scale. You can uh, play up and down five notes, five notes up, five notes down, five notes up, five notes down, in this manner. And you go one step up.
exercise helps you to gain familiarity with the keyboard and, and make, your, uh, make you used to, uh, to move your fingers on the keyboard and produce notes. Um, then you can start perhaps uh, playing some easy tunes. You can play by looking into a music book, but it's also very valuable to play what you have in your head. So if I want to, for example, if I think of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I can surely do it on a saxophone or on the recorder very easily. It's a simple melody, but the good thing here is that I'm getting used to play on the instrument directly what I hear in my mind, which is, which is a very important skill if you want to play an instrument, especially if you think that you may want to play jazz, because jazz is a lot about playing what you feel, what you hear in your mind and what you feel, and you have to be able to translate it into the instrument. You can play the same song by reading it into, in a book, which is very valuable also because it's important as a musician to be able to read music. But the both skills need to be practiced. So you can practice uh, the instrument for sure by playing what comes into your head and trying to match it. At the beginning it may not be easy. First you have to search for the notes. You may say, hmm, not right. Mm, no. Oh yeah, and then. No, something more. Yeah. So it's that sometimes it's trial and error. And then when you do it, the more you become proficient at playing with your instrument, what, what's in, in your head. You know? Now, I show you how to do it on the recorder. I have to prove it to you that it's the same thing on the saxophone. Let's see if it's true. See, the saxophone is much heavier, so I have to put my strap. All right, so the bottom hand, I mean the, the right hand, I put my thumb on the back, and then I have my four fingers closing the, the, the bottom, bottom holes, the bottom keys, and then on the, on the top part of the instrument, I have my thumb on the octave key or off the octave key and then I have my three fingers on the second hole, the fourth hole down and the fifth and the pinky is, is open. Alright, so let's see if I can do what I was doing before. <laughs> But 
at the beginning it's better to practice slow and make sure that you get the notes <laughs> Start practicing, alright? Thank you.